Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you a sample application built using Neutrino JS and Angular frontend framework. First we can uh, check the application. So it is currently compiled in the this uh, disk directory. I am going to open the application. So the application is a simple file viewer. You can uh, view folders and files. If you open uh, a directory then uh, you can uh, see the child directories and if you go further you can see the inside of uh, each directory if there is any files you can see so right now uh, only folders are clickable if we click on a file we are getting a small error here just added this error because we are not uh, implementing uh, the file opening feature yet with this application because this is a very simple application to demonstrate uh, Neutron JS and Angular. So if the application is uh, launched from another direct, let's say I'm going to launch application from here. So I will use the dist and uh, the child uh, folder name and the application name so if I launch the application from uh, this uh, directory so it will uh, display all the uh, directories and files uh, from uh, that directory the directory I launched the application so it will basically use that nlcwd uh, global variable initially if we go inside we can see the files uh, inside each folder and if you click on file we get uh, some error let's check how I built uh, this one very first I created the initial application structure using new CLI using the uh, new CLI's uh, new create command after that I created new angular project using the angular CLI inside this directory after that uh, I did several uh, modifications so customizations in configuration files uh, in order to integrate uh, both applications together. Let's uh, check about the structural changes and also the uh, configuration changes I did uh, in order to integrate both applications. So I will open my application source using my favorite code editor which is Lite. As I mentioned, uh, I created uh, this Angular project using Angular CLI. After creating it, I uh, did few updates and modifications to the files. First of all, I placed the uh, neutrino.js file inside this assets directory. Then I loaded it uh, from index.html file like this. After that, I told uh, Angular to load it uh, using uh, this uh, property updating this property uh, then after that uh, I modified the build path as well by modifying output path property I set it to uh, resources because uh, from uh, neutrino.config.json file I am initially loading resources uh, path so I modified this uh, angular.json file by telling uh, the output path uh, as a uh, resources path then after that uh, I modified the uh, package.json as well I added uh, two uh, new npm commands npm scripts first one is build command this is kind of development build so I just use ng build and also importantly this uh, base uh, reference I used because we need to use this one because uh, initially we are loading uh, resources uh, path after that uh, I used uh, the second one as uh, build prod it is about uh, building a production version of uh, uh, angular application I just use uh, ng build and also with this uh, flag uh, production flag and the same uh, base reference now I will explain about the development workflow First of all, we can uh, run the application using new listen. 
before running the application you can uh, check with the you are enabling dev tools because we need dev tools uh, to debug the application make sure to set this one into true before running the uh, new listen command while run new listen command now we can see the application and the dev tools both so this angular project uh, can be uh, developed as a separate project you can use ng serve uh, to uh, frequently test your application once uh, your uh, preacher is ready to be tested you can uh, load the application into this uh, native window so i will uh, show you how it can be done so you can simply use the uh, uh, npm commands i showed uh, you earlier first one is uh, build command so i'm going to execute the build command now using npm run build so this one will uh, trigger some development build uh, which is very fast So after the quick build we can see the application is automatically reloaded you can test the application feature using uh, dev tools and the native window now let's check how you can release the application so for releasing uh, you need to build uh, some uh, optimized uh, build uh, of angular sources so you just need to use that uh, second command i mentioned earlier which is a uh, build prod so instead of uh, this uh, build command i am going to use the build prod command this will take some time uh, than the previous command because uh, this is a production build this will do some optimization uh, to the final uh, static files once the angular production build uh, was successful we can use a new build command to build the application now make sure to uh, disable dev tools because uh, for the release application we don't need dev tools to be opened so I'm going to disable it uh, by modifying the neutral uh, configuration file. This one should be false. Our final static files inside the resources directory. So these files uh, were built using Angular's production build. Now we are uh, ready to uh, deploy or uh, release our application. So I'm going to make uh, binaries. Uh, I will use a new build command first I will delete a disk directory because I am going to do a new release I will use new build command with the release pack so this will quickly produce binaries now we can see our application we have uh, resources file and also the binaries and the dll file now the application is working fine now i will explain a bit about uh, the application source as well mainly about the angular application i initialized neutrino.js uh, from main.ts uh, by calling neutrino.init uh, method then I implemented the application uh, logic uh, by creating one component called file viewer. Just created the application view and also wrote some uh, less stylings uh, for the application styling. Then implemented uh, several methods uh, uh, to get the application running properly. So uh, first one is uh, the set directory, it will uh, change the current directory. It will use uh, one uh, native API call, which is file system dot read directory to read the given uh, directory. And uh, one method to go back to the previous directory. And uh, the last one is to uh, handle the click event. We are using another uh, native call as well os.showmessage box to display an error message so this is how you can uh, develop uh, 
neutralizes applications using uh, angular front end framework likewise you can use any front end framework to create neutral js applications i am going to show you how you can uh, develop a neutral js application using other framework as well in next videos see you in next video